Queens and Catawba, second to last home game of the regular season, comes up on Wednesday night for the Royals. And Coach Lundy, let's first backtrack to the Mars Hill game from Saturday, 119 points of offense, your highest scoring output of the season. Mars Hill, 11th place in the league. You had a lead on them early. Uh, so it's a game in which you have to make some goals and, and reach those goals, make some expectations. Overall, as, as it winded down in that contest, how did you feel about your team's performance? Uh, I thought that uh, we entered the game and, and we exited the game with the right mindset. Uh, they, we scored a lot of points, but a lot of those points were fueled by our defense. Uh, I thought we shared the ball exceptionally well. So uh, overall, uh, very, very pleased with uh, how our team approached uh, what, what could have been a scary road game. Three of the last four games before that, you had been held under 80 points offensively. That had only happened three times in the previous 19 games. Then you explode for 119. Seemed to me as if the offense was more in rhythm and, and firing on all cylinders, movement without the ball. Uh, how would you assess offensively uh, the performance in that regard, almost away from the basketball? Yeah, I think we've we've really emphasized with our guys trying to move uh, when they when they don't have it, we have become stagnant a little bit, and, and I think all teams go through, you know, those mid mm -hmm. mid year slumps where you're not, you know, maybe firing offensively as as well as you were before. Uh, so I, it's good to see us, you know, score that many points and and uh, everybody leave that game feeling good about themselves. And Mike Davis with 23 points, he had been a little bit quieter and exploded the other day. Uh, he, he's a pretty good one for you, great all around player. How would you uh, assess his performance the other day? Oh, Mike's tremendous. I mean, when he gets rolling, there's nobody better in the league. Uh, you know, he's uh, uh, he's one of those guys that I've seen go through a little lull in the season, and now it seems like he's coming, uh, you know, out the other end of it. And uh, he really does his work off the floor, so that that's all paying off for him. Real two-way player, Mike Davis. Let's talk about Catawba a little bit. Remember. Uh, up the road in Salisbury the first time around on January 4th ended with a little chippiness at the end of the game. Uh, they're not afraid to play a physical style. Uh, you worried at all about any of that spilling over into this contest here on a Wednesday night? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, it was a it was a hard fought game there. Uh, and they're a very talented team and, you know, they, they wanted to win. We wanted to win. So, uh, you know, we expect it to be a tough game with them. It always is. And, uh, we, you know, we'll we'll approach it uh, accordingly. Big game with LMU coming up on Saturday before or after this game, I should say. Catawba first. What's the secret to keeping the team focused when you have this huge regional tilt uh, lying in the wings in your next contest? Well, you, you just talk about it. You know, hey, you know, we can't uh, we can't look ahead to Saturday at all. Uh, Catawba's very capable of coming in here and and uh, and and beating us on our home floor. Uh, they're they're as talented as you know anybody in the league. Uh, they, they've won six of eight, you know, had gone into that. I think they'd won six of seven going into Saturday. So um, they're, they're playing well. They feel good about themselves. They're talented. And, uh, you know, we had to worry about that game. Well, you have said to me before that their top three are as good as any of the top three in the league. And that's Jameel Taylor, K.J. Arrington, Jaron Morrison, all of whom average upwards of 15 points per game. Uh, is there any one of the three that, that particularly stands out to you? Because they do have a pretty talented team, even though the standings uh, may not necessarily reflect it uh, at this point in the year. Yeah, the one, the one that's playing the best that night. You know, I think they <laughs> they're a little like us, where they they have a different sc leading score, a lot of games, and uh, a lot of different weapons to to come at you with. You know, and they've got a great supporting cast with the, for those guys. So, um, you know, they they have been around this league. Their kids have been around this league for for a while, and it's a it's a worrisome uh, game. It's a worrisome scout. Uh, it's very player specific. Um, Coach Perrin does a tremendous job, you know, putting those guys in positions to succeed. So, you know, we're, we're, uh, we got our work cut out for us on Wednesday night. All right, Wednesday, Queens and Catawba here at the Levine Center. Play by play coverage on queensathletics.com slash Royals Live. I'll get started at 8 o'clock. Coach Lundy, thanks, Coach. Phil, thank you.